Athens, Indiana. Eyewitness News' Amanda Mueller sat down to learn more about their story. Amanda, what would you find out? Well, after our sister station, WNCN in Raleigh, North Carolina, broke this story earlier this month, dozens of complaints were filed with the North Carolina Attorney General, and an investigation is underway. Now, one of those families is here in Indiana, in Vincennes. This woman says she paid a lot of money for a service dog for her son, who has autism, and instead, she got a dog who was not trained. He had a son with autism, and um, he had been in the business for about 13 years. Kayla Richter and her family were confident Rycon owner Mark Mathis could help them give a special companion to their son. Mark was looking at, you know, intently looking at him, you know, writing, keeping notes and saying, oh, you know, this is what's going to work for him. But um, soon, it became clear something was very I wrong. Was I, I hadn't heard from them for a yeah, month. I, I, Finally called Mark and was like, hey, what's going on? He's like, oh, I'm sending emails out. Well, that email was saying that they were closing. Kayla and her family rushed to North Carolina to pick up Grover. They were just found in very poor conditions, very underweight, um, like I said, very timid. What they found was far from what they paid for. A lot of the dogs, uh, even Grover, I mean, they weren't even housebroken when we got them. The Richters raised about $15,000 to purchase and train Grover from fundraising. It wasn't just us affected, it was other people that put a lot of hard work and, um, you know, dedication into it. And it, it just breaks our heart, too, that they were putting that money in. They now are facing the task of retraining Grover. Now we're going to Terre Haute once a week um, and getting some training. And then basically every day we have to cut out time along with everything else to make sure that he's doing what he's supposed to do. Despite the heartbreak and high price tag, the family is working is to make that? Grover and Grayson a team. We're going about a different way. We're still yeah, going to get those results, like that, um, but um, we just hate that it had to be that way. Now, Kayla says she would like to see more regulation when it comes to service dogs, and she told me she expects that training or the retraining to take about a year and a half.